Hi there, it's Dr. Susan Bernstein. I'm so glad to be with you today for another episode of Leadership Lessons. And today, I thought I'd share what I want to talk about with you, which is the, the topic I want to talk about with you. Whoops, I'm having a little trouble today. There we go. Uh, the thing that I want to talk about with you today is a great leadership topic. Don't believe everything you think. By the way, for those of you who have not been introduced to my work before, either in person or online, hi, I'm Dr. Susan Bernstein. I'm an executive coach and leadership consultant, and my mission is to help you master the strategy and the psychology to elevate your leadership. You'll find me at drsusanbernstein.com. Today's webcast, we're going to look at three things all related to your thinking. Your thinking matters, not all your thoughts are helpful to you, and what to do about negative thoughts. Because as leaders and as human beings, <laughs> we sometimes have negative thoughts. And I want to invite you not to let them control you. So I first want to say that your thinking matters. Your thinking generates creation. What's going on in your head creates things. For example, if you're a product developer, your thoughts help bring products into creation. Or if you do in the services industry, what you think creates a certain type or quality of service. Your thoughts res give responses, right? They generate the responses that you have. And your thoughts, is, your thoughts also generate creations about how you treat yourself. So when you have incoming stimuli, they can create thoughts. So let's say that you're working with a coworker and they say, God, it's not much fun working with you. And you take that very personally. And in your head, you're like, wow, I'm not fun to work with. I'm not good to work with. Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. I think I'll eat some worms. Great big long ones. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, there goes the thoughts. Anyway, I'm teasing around. But seriously, the thoughts can get generated and we can take negativity and amplify it unintentionally. So Overall, not all your thoughts are helpful to you. I will never forget the first time I ever saw a bumper sticker on a car that said, don't believe everything you think. And it made me laugh so hard because we can buy into things that we think and not all of our thoughts are on purpose or good for us. So sometimes you are going to have what I call and other people call stinking thinking. It's thinking that and thoughts that don't serve you. There are thoughts where you beat yourself up or whip on yourself or are harsh with yourself. There are thoughts where you buy into negative messages. And we actually know that the more negative messages we get, the harder it is to combat those. And from the work of a researcher named John Gottman, at least in romantic relationships, and I believe this translates to platonic relationships and business relationships, for every one negative message, we need five positive messages to combat that. And sometimes we have to self-generate those because not everybody's gonna give us back the positive messages that we want. And our brains as human beings are primed to look for negativity. If we think about it, developmentally, our ancestors thousands and thousands of years ago in the ages where they lived in caves or in trees or outdoors and or in very simple huts, they had to be careful all the time. So they were looking for negativity. That animal that's going to hurt me, that um, person who has a, you know, uh, is going to stab me. We're looking out for danger, but we don't have that kind of danger now. But our brains are still primed to look for what can harm us instead of how we're helped and how we're positive. And unless we're aware of our thinking, we can go into negativity and magnify it. So what are you saying to yourself that you're accidentally, unintentionally magnifying that's negative? So I want to talk about what to do about negative thoughts. And the first thing to do is be aware of them. Um, and then you can make it a practice to counter negative thoughts with positive ones. So one of the things I invite you to have is paper and pen to write down your negative thoughts. I actually, when I'm having a negative thought storm, and I get these too, even though I'm super aware and I do meditation, which is another way to work with negative thoughts, I'll write down what it is I'm feeling crummy about. 
get it down and it, seeing it in front of you is like, I'm thinking that? Hmm. Then that seeing alone can help make a shift, but then you can write something down to counter the thought. So let's say I write down, I'm a crummy leader. Doesn't feel so good, right? Seeing that's like, hmm. But then I can write down, and I, you don't want to write the complete opposite if you're not feeling it. I'm the best leader in the whole wide world. Not so much. That's too exaggerated. But I'm a good enough. I'm a good leader. I'm a good enough leader. Something that helps counter the thought and helps catch your, it helps you catch yourself going, I'm going negative. I can change that. And if you keep doing this practice when negative thoughts come up, then over time you learn to turn down the negative voice, the negative thoughts, and turn up the balance. So here's the thing. You don't have to get rid of negative thoughts. You don't have to make them go away because they're going to come up. They just are. What you want to do is create that balance so that when the negative shows up, you have the positive, and then you come into a place of neutrality. Right, negative and positive balances out to neutral. And we really want our minds to be in a neutral space. That's so much about what meditation is about. Yoga can help create that. Other things can help create that state of balance, of neutrality. Now, it might sound boring and vanilla. I'm going to be neutral. But it's not being opinionate, unopinionated. It's not being without facts. It's just being balanced so that you've weighed and see all the negative negativity and the positivity and come can come to a place where you can see where the opportunity is. So that's what I wanted to talk with you about today. You can also share this with your employees, with your con colleagues. I would love to hear how this is for you. And if there are leadership issues that you'd like me to talk about, I'd love to hear from you. So you can always let me know at hello at drsusanbernstein.com. And I invite you to watch me weekly. On Mondays, I put out Mind Body Mondays, which are micro shifts, little five minute invisible things that you can do to shift your mood in five minutes or less. Uh, and that's for resilient leaders. And then my Wednesday webcast, which is this is which this is one of, um, is Leadership Lessons with Dr. Susan. And next week, I can hardly wait um, because the sixth episode of uh, Leadership Lessons with Dr. Susan, I have my first special guest, and it's Liz Fosslane, the author, co-author author of No Hard Feelings. I think you're going to love it. So if you like this, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up on YouTube, and you can subscribe and watch at youtube.com forward slash Dr. Susan Bernstein, or just look up Dr. Susan Bernstein, and you'll find this webcast and the weekly lessons. And if you're at a crossroads at your career, in, with your career, and you're wondering what to do next, maybe you're dealing with difficult people issues like conflict, or you've outgrown or need to grow into a new position that feels big and overwhelming, or you need to boost your exec executive presence and have better authority with others, better influence, well, I'd love to talk to you about that. So email or call me to set up your complimentary consultation. And you can do that by emailing me at hello at drsusanbernstein.com or call me at 415-508-8250. And outside the U.S., you can simply um, add a one to that. Thank you so much for watching. It's always a pleasure being with you and sharing these ideas with you. And I'd love to hear from you. So leave comments here on YouTube. Again, if you like it, thumbs up and subscribe. And please share this with your friends, your colleagues, your boss, your coworkers, your employees. I so appreciate it. Thanks so much. Take care and see you next week.